Young has been appointed as the interim CEO of the San Diego Workforce Partnership, and it is my good fortune to be rubbing shoulders with him once again as he talks us about the goals of the nonprofit. Mr. Young, man, from the last time we saw each other, yeah. boy, you look like a million bucks. How you yeah, doing, sir? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. It's a, a great time for, for me to continue to do some work for the cities of San Diego. You've dedicated your life to helping out San Diegans, and for that, we're all in your debt, so thank you for that. But let's talk about sure. the San Diego Workforce Partnership. Specifically, what is it? So the organization does a few things. First, it helps prepare employees or potential employees to, to go after their dream job, right? To, to go after their work that they really want to do to help support their family. On the other side, we work with employers to understand what their needs are and identify training opportunities for, to support them. And then the third thing, we work with policymakers, uh, politicians, elected officials to figure out what would be, how do we help this economy grow and be sustainable with great jobs and great, uh, uh, great in, uh, partners. So a perfect storm, all three entities help create opportunities. Exactly. It, it, it creates dreams, right? right? It creates dreams for folks. I mean, what's more exciting than an opportunity to get a, a new job, right? And, and that's what really uh, compelled me to, to look at this opportunity as, as the CEO for this organization. All right, so every, everybody knows your name. I mean, you've been involved in politics. You've been involved in helping people. The fact that you were on their board at one point, right? Yes. Is, yeah. it, is that why the fault the call went to you right away, or? Well, uh, I don't think it went to me right away. We had, I think, for what I'm he hearing is a uh, hundred or so odd applicants for the job, and and luckily I was was selected to do that. But it's basically probably based on some of my experience as a board chair, but also I did policy related to to workforce development, and I've done a lot of work in leadership and development in communities. So. I think that helped me uh, be very competitive for this job. So why the t why interim, and not just the guy? Well, let's put it this way: uh, we're going to work really hard to make it a, a permanent job because this is something that it really touches my heart. As I said, this is about dreams, it's about opportunities, and uh, what what better op what better job can you have to help people achieve right. something to feed their family, support themselves, do something uh, very positive for the community. This is a, an a excellent opportunity. So I'm sure you've spe spent more than a couple hours thinking about this. And okay, what's your vision? How do you change it? How do you make it better? Well, you know, first of all, the great thing is, is that when I came in, there were 130 or 140 odd people that work at the Workforce Partnership that are excellent. They're, they're, they know so what they're doing, that. and that's the good part. It wasn't a bare cupboard when I walked in. Right. There was a great opportunity to support. And so what we want to do is continue to move forward uh, continue to, to engage and listen to stakeholders on what their needs are and, and be a good partner with uh, other folks in the community to make sure that we have a strong economy moving forward. Because there's, a, I, I don't know how accurate it is, but there's the thought out there that there's a lot of good jobs just trying to find people, qualified people to, yeah. to fill them. Is that is that an accurate pre uh, pre presentation I, of, the, I, of the workforce? I, I think there's, in some ways, that is the case. I mean, we have a lot of jobs open that are that are available, but we have to make sure that with these individuals who apply for them are trained and, and prepared to actually do that work. So it's a constant, you know, uh, balancing act of finding opportunities for folks that they're prepared for, but also trying to prepare them to get into better better paying jobs and better opportunities that fit the jobs that are out there. You know, I can't help just, I, I remember meeting you 25 years ago. Yeah. Boy, does time fly. You haven't yes. changed. I've well, gotten very old. But no, well, well, let's see. I'll tell you one thing. I remember uh, watching you with the pigskin report, right? And then you got this opportunity on this on 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 the, on the big stage here, and it, you were excited. I was excited for you, and you've done amazing work. Well, thanks, and I'm just sir. really really proud to thank know you. you. I, right back at you. And I think of Coach John Shacklett's watching yes. right now. He's proud to know us both. So yeah, uh, Tony. I, Anything we can do, you know you have a friend over here at KSI, and please don't don't hesitate to use it in any way to help promote Thanks, this Paul. cause, okay? I appreciate it. You Thank have you. us in your uh, pocket. Thank a, you. A cloudy start to the morning.